Here at New England Reptile and Jabroni Reptiles, we feed the smallest of morsels to huge giant beasts like that. So, Timmy, you think you can take this thing out? All right, I'll go back to normal voice. Show us a big alligator snapper. This is Bubba. This is one of the uh, standard uh, pets of New England Reptile. Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy. Look at that. And we saved Bubba years and years ago from being eaten. So Bubba is uh, just a big, awesome alligator snack we've had forever, and we use him on uh, tours and education. Hi, hey buddy. He's kind of heavy, huh? There we go. Look at that mouth. Look at that. Hold on. See that little tongue right there? They use that as a lure. These guys are pretty much sedentary ambush hunters, so they can sit here and open its mouth. Wow. No! And use that little tongue, and it would wiggle would-be fish. You know, it's funny, when you're looking through a phone, you don't, you just sit here and put my phone right close to this guy and not even think. Okay. <laughs> Look at that, isn't that amazing? And that's a hundred and something pound alligator snapper. All right, so over here, we have, we have some more adorable cuteness. So here we have, that's an albino snapping turtle. Oh, it's just so cute. Look at that. Look at that little face. <laughs> that is so awesome. Look at those eyes. Beautiful. Okay, so that's an amelanistic albino. Hi, sweetie. You can see it's putting my hands right near it. It's not interested. These are just our pets. Want to hold that, Mikey? Of course I do. Mike was just saying, why don't you do a video on snapping turtles? Hi, baby. So what's really cool about snapping turtles, when you raise a snapping turtle in captivity, they are very personable. And so they have great little brains. So they're not interested in hurting you at all. If anything, they're just, they're just so sweet. But people have such a wrong idea. And in the wild, it takes a snapping turtle a very long time to mature. So when we're seeing these animals in June, at least around the New England area, some of these animals are, you know, 25, 30 years old, and they're trying to cross the road to lay eggs. Right now, it's just kind of winter time at Nerd, and these are our pets. So why don't you show me that alligator snapper right there? Hey, baby. They're always begging for food. Look at that. So if you keep reptiles, you just got to... That's a, he's actually pretty, pretty sweet. Very well. He doesn't even like to open his mouth, but just real sweet. Look at that alligator snapper. Look at that. That, that is one heck of a trap. See that, that top mandible with that awesome hook? So when he opens his mouth and you're a fish, you're going to get snarked if you even swim anywhere near it. But, but that's just an awesome thing. And one thing people don't realize, these guys eat a lot of fruit. So this animal will also eat uh, grapes and blueberries floating on the surface, and they'll even do this in the wild. Hi, sweetie. I know. You're so cute. Oh, there I ain't you playing are. that game. Hey, you. Oh, hold on. Oh, Ooh, you like that? And you always have to have respect because the, the damage of that thing's mouth. I mean, but they don't, you know, they don't want to bite that. That is literally just a defensive type thing. We're, we're taking it out of its water, suspending it over the water, and basically, you know, the animal's unsure what we're about, but we love them and they're uh, definitely an important part of our world. All right, say goodbye to awesome turtles at Nerd. Woo!